Hi guys, my name is Brady and I'm here with the original Penguin for Plugged In at Lovebox. And I'm joined by Adapt and Metric. How are you guys? Very good, thank you very much. Very good. And um, you guys have already performed today. How was that? Yeah, it was amazing. Really good, man. Uh, we played a fairly early slot, but it was still amazing vibes right at the start. So. And um, obviously the rest of the evening, are you guys staying and watching a few of the acts? For sure, yeah, definitely. Just walking around. We've got a lot of friends here, a lot of family. Just soaking in the vibes. It's a beautiful day. Uh, Lovebox 2013. John, how are you today? I'm really good, man. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And um, obviously you're performing on the main stage later today. How are you feeling about that? Good. Excited. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity to be to release one DV single under my name and then play the main stage at a festival is incredible, but it's a good opportunity to smash it up, I guess. So. And um, apart from Lovebox, what other festivals are you guys looking forward to this year? Uh, we're actually heading out to Sweden on oh, Thursday. Uh, we're doing a set together and Moda Festival. Uh, we've got a busy summer ahead. Uh, I'm off Secret Garden Party, Global Gathering. We're both going to be there. Check us out if you're going to head up there. Uh, and yeah, festival season, summertime. It's a very busy time for us, but it's the most exciting part of the year. So come and check us when you're out. Um, and so we can, can we see a fashion line coming out soon from John Newman? Depends how the album goes, but I mean, I've got a book full of things that I come up with and for different events and stuff, so I don't know, I'd love to do that in the future, definitely, but just concentrate on the music, I guess, for now. And um, just last question, now, what separates Lovebox from the rest of the festivals in the UK? I think the fact that it's in a city, it's in London City, you like, you look up there, you've got high-rise flats, blocks of flats, residential area, you're not in the countryside, it's city vibe. But it's got that whole festival vibe going on, the sun's shining, it's uh, a lot of people, it's not camping, so you don't get too dirty, it's very dusty, but it's nice, you can still look fresh in your penguin top. <laughs> of course. Yeah, no <laughs> dust on that. Um, but yeah, it's a good vibe, and I think people just come for a great day out, uh, they come to hear some great music, different yeah. tents, a lot of different vibes of music, So, uh, but hospitality are bringing it fresh, so nice. yeah, it's been, been a pleasure. And um, talking about the album, I actually just saw Benga tweeted yesterday and he said that the album is sounding amazing from what he's heard. Uh, actually, uh, it was today because we were waiting at the airport uh, in, in Romania for our flight. And as well, we were flying to Munich uh, at the same, on the same plane. And I just gave him my phone, I have the, the album on here. And uh, like he listened through the whole thing, he didn't skip because it's an album that's, uh, that has gapless transitions so like it goes straight from one tune into the next one in, at some points and it's actually kind of storytelling in some points And um, would you say you've got any style icons? <laughs> style icon? Hunter S. Thompson maybe, you know uh, I don't know, I, get, I, I like kind of uh, bold colours and patterns and uh, I kind of think when you're on stage, it's good to wear something recognisable that you stand out a bit. Um, it kind of helps, I think. So, yeah. The weirder the better for me. I'm wearing waffle shorts right now. So. <laughs> and um, what other festivals are you looking forward to playing this year? Um, we're playing at Reading and Leeds uh, and Festival and Global Gathering, Tomorrowland, uh, Sun, what, Sundown, that's the other one in, in Norwich. Which should be good. Tomorrowland is going to be an experience. Like everyone, everyone talks about about how cool it is and stuff. Last question: If there was one performer that you could have on stage with you tonight, past or present, who would it be? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Why is that? Because he is probably the most talented uh, singer-songwriter of all time, and his voice is just magical. And like his stage appearance, everything, the whole bundle, the whole package is what makes him so special so unique there will be like never ever again there will be another michael jackson no and would you agree with mj uh, yes definitely yeah. definitely all right guys unfortunately that is the end of love box 2013 i've been brady and you've been watching original penguin plugged in at love box